Hello and welcome to the Google Sheets tutorial on how to make a line graph. My name is John Flatt and I will be walking you through this process. Building a line graph is a fairly simple process, but it's very, very useful. It's great for showing data and also for how to compare different variables of data. So in this event, we're going to be building a line graph looking at the average sale of a company over a two year time period so that we can compare the average sale from each month and get an idea of our trend. And in order to build a line graph, as it is with any other chart in Google Sheets, you'll simply want to highlight the data you need to build the line graph from. And you can come up here and hit insert chart, that little chart there, or you can also come over and go to insert, drop down and chart. So you'll go ahead and do that. And when you do that, Google Sheets automatically tries to identify the data and pick the best type of chart. Now, a column chart obviously works for this, um, but in the event that you're actually looking for maybe something slightly different, um, like we said, we're here to look at a line graph, you can go ahead and change your chart type over here in the chart editor. You come down in line, you've got these different line graph options. So we'll go through each, th uh, each of these three to show you kind of a different look. So your chart type in this situation, we're looking for a line chart. So this is just your basic line chart. It compares the two um, months and you can see them side by side like that. It tells you which color is which. Um, you can also do a smooth line chart, which is a bit more pleasing to the eyes. Um, it's not quite as jagged edges, um, but again, it's, it's really about personal preference there. And one other type of line chart that you can do is what's called a combo chart. And this is another great option in the sense that it gives you just a different visual so that's how you develop the line chart. Now there's obviously, with any chart in Google Sheets, there's a lot of editability and customization possibility. The first thing we'll cover is how to select your data range. You come over to the right on the chart editor and you'll see this data range in A2 to C14, which is currently what we have. But in the event that you would maybe want to change the data, um, maybe you don't want to go show past September, you could come in and say C11, change it and now it's removed October, November, and December from the list. Um, so you have that ability to change the data depending on what you're looking for. I'll go ahead and change it back just so that we have the whole all the data in there but that's a great option and definitely something you'll need to know how to do. So we'll turn that off and then you have your series and it's already marked your series 2018, 2019 so you've got the titles up here in the top. Another option that you can do within this setup portion is you can change the data type. Because of our current data type, you're not gonna see a lot of change when we use these, but these are great to have as a tool. So you can select aggregate and it gives you the ability to change whether you wanna do average, count, max, median, min, sum. So if you have a large data set with multiple data points, factoring in, this gives you a huge, huge advantage. Um, in this event, the only one that you'll see a change on is count because there's one for each. Um, you're not gonna get an average change because again, there's only one op one data point in it. So it's not super valuable in this situation, but it's definitely something that can be used throughout your time working with line charts and whatnot. Um, one, one other thing worth noting, since we're looking for the average sale, we can always change the chart title. When you're in the chart editor, if you double click, the title, it will bring you into the place where you can change that. So we can say average sale by month for 2018 and 2019. And that gives us a new title up there. You can always center that title. You can change the color of text if you like. Um, so in your fonts, it gives you lots of versatility there as well. Your chart style is another great tool. Um, you know, if you've got a branded spreadsheet or you'd like to just get rid of the border or any, any of these different options, um, it gives you the ability to do that. Um, and as you see there, it no longer has a border. Um, you can change within the customized section, you can change the series information. So it's currently applying to all series. Now, if we wanted to select one um, and change it, that's also an option. We'll show you that in a second. But say you would like to put a point in you can do you can do this point drop down and add points so each one of your data points is add edited you can change it to triangles stars as various options there as well you can even change your line thickness or line line type depending on what you're looking for you can add a trend line into this as well which is a great tool if you're you know looking for your, your progressing trends and want to see kind of what what the overall 
um, direction of sales is going. Obviously, you see in this trend line chart, a trend line that things are tending to go downwards. So that's another great tool to give you the ability to quickly look at a data set and get some more information. Within the legend, we obviously have the ability, again, to edit a lot of the functions in, in different areas. So we can change the position. So currently it's a, it's on auto, so it's putting it to the top, but some people would prefer it to be on at the bottom. Any of the bit, bits that you see in here that you might want to edit, you can always click and it will take you right to where you're trying to edit. So this is the horizontal axis. Now, I I would prefer not to have this since we already have the average sale though, so we can just take that bit out and now it's gone. So it makes it a little bit more concise. So the legend again, if you'd like, you can put it on the right, um, even inside or uh, left. But in this situation, I think on the bottom looks the cleanest. So we'll leave that. Maybe turn it bold so they stand out a bit more. And you have the ability to change the horizontal axis running across the bottom here. We can make them bold, change the color. You can reverse it. So if you want it to go from December to January, um, working backwards, that's always an option as well. On the vertical axis, you can also make the same edits that you could do on the horizontal axis. Um, one thing to note, if you want to change the number format, you can always go in and change it depending on what you're looking for. It obviously is pulling the dollar sign and, and the dollar number format from the data. So there's really no need to change it there, but that's a great tool. And the last thing you can edit is the grid lines and ticks. Um, so you can add in ticks for the vertical axis, which they, or lines for the vertical axis, which it already has here. But you can change them and, and edit it. You can change the step value. So right now it's at 25, but say I wanted to do 10, it changes it that way. So you have a bit more visibility as well on, on where it's at. You can take tick this, and that takes the grid lines off entirely. But um, the grid lines are quite valuable visibly, and you can change the color as well as those. This is how you build a line chart in Google Sheets. Thank you for joining us.